Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to model a wooden log and in this video I am going to take a cylinder and then unwrap it and export the UV snapshot into Photoshop then apply texture on it. So let's start. First of all, we will take a cylinder then press T to open the manipulator and we will increase the height to 12 it's fine then we will we don't need to increase the radius and subdivision axis so let's open the UV editor or we will just add some subdivision to the height let's say 6 now go to workspace and select the UV editing so how to unwrap the cylinder so first of all we are going to select the faces which are facing the Y axis so press tab and keep selecting all the faces and we are going to make them planner so go to create and go to planner option so we have to make sure which faces we are going to planner they are facing in the y axis so we have to select project from y axis and apply so we just put them here for a second now we are going to select these faces better now go to create and select cylindrical so you see this in envelope so pick this red mark and close it so we are going to check if our UV is properly unwrapped so go to material and apply a material go to color and apply a checker press 6 to see the material so as you can see the checker is not properly squared so what we are going to do is we are going to shell select these faces and scale it to the x-axis sorry to the y-axis until you see the proper square checker and as you can see this UV is blue and this is a bit purple it means this UV is flipped now we have to flip it select this UV shell go to sorry go to modify and flip it so you have to do the same to all the UVs uh, which are kind of red or purple so select all the UV shell press shift and right click go to layout and layout UV and as you can see the layout here is fine but up there and on the bottom it's kind of big so what we need to do is go to UV shell select those and scale them a little bit maybe too much now like this one put it here and it's done almost you just scale it down a bit just to make sure that it stays in the UV grid now we have to export the UV snapshot so 
select all the UV shell, go to image, UV snapshot, select path where you want to save it, UV log, select the format, I'm going to save it in JPEG, 2K, apply and close. So now we are going to import them in Photoshop. For that, we have to find some texture for it. So I'm going to download some texture. So we have to find two kind of texture. First, for the trunk, this wooden part, and the second is this. So download it. Or we'll find some more like this. This one looks fine. So I'm going to download it. Once you have all the texture you want, you import the UV to Photoshop and start texturing. So we are in Photoshop, I'm going to open our UV snapshot. Then I'm going to import our texture which we downloaded now to remove this white part you can use quick selection tool To see if there is any white part left, select a new layer and fill it with red. Now drag and drop it here, scale it down. Decrease the opacity to see if it fits, and as you can see, is a bit bigger. So, make sure your UV stays within the texture, or else it will show black or white space in Maya when you render it so just copy it and put it here and you, you might want to flip it Now we have to texture this part. So I'm going here and I'm drag and dropping it here. Press T to transform. I'm duplicating this texture here. So as you can see it's a seamless texture so you can't see a seam 
and good so what you need to do is you just copy and paste it and fill the whole UV if you see a seam then try to flipping it vertically good duplicate it again and try to flip it again and we are good now what we have to do is export it diffuse texture and format should be JPEG put it in group duplicate it press ctrl shift E sorry press ctrl E to merge all the layer in a group and what you can do now is create a normal from the diffuse so go to filter 3d and generate bump map or normal map i'm going to create a bump map It. Try to work with these parameters, see what happens. So, and I'm going to go with the defaults. So click OK. And I'm going to export it as bump map. So we are going back to Maya. Select your object and assign a new material. Go to material attribute and color. In color, import your diffuse map. And you can see the texture here. And on this texture, now I'm going to apply the bump map and remember always put the bump map in bump value. Don't import the bump map in bump tap, it won't work. Now let's see what happens when we render it. So I'm going to use Arnold Render. Now I'm going to create a sky dome and import an HDRI image. Let's render it. And as you can see, the resolution is not perfect, so we have to change some render settings. Go to render settings and I'm going to use the image size 1080 and resolution 300. And I'm going to use optics denoiser and 
sky dome resolution i am increasing it to 2000 and samples 8 here and volume samples 8 here and maximum bounces i am increasing it to 9999 now render again As you can see our render is now much more good and as you can see a reflection here but it's not the reflection because of the HDRI image you can try the render in your custom lighting setup it will be better so that's all for today now thank you very much I'll see you in next video